Hello and welcome to Men's Fashion. Today we're talking about another set of shoes. First impressions here. These are Allen Edmonds and they're sold at Nordstrom Rack for an incredible deal. These are going for about $200 when normal Allen Edmonds, like the ones I have on right now, normally sell for about $380. So um, a lot of people are interested in these cap toe Allen Edmonds shoes and I want to discuss some things real quick about them. For starters, well, as usual, we talk about um, quality control. And if I look at all the stitching and you look at the cap toes, they look pretty even. The stitching is even. As far as that quality control goes, it's what you'd expect from Allen Edmonds until you get to the discussion about the cap toe. Here in between the seams, I have a picture of this. When I would, when the toe would flex, this would actually bunch up and cause a crease here. You can see that there is a crease on the cap as well. Now, I actually went to the Nordstrom Rack in Ohio, um, it was just east of Cleveland, and I tried on the 11, the 10s, the 10s and a half, the wides, I tried on a variety of these shoes, and these were the ones that did fit best. It wasn't just the Brannock device, and yes, when I used the Brannock device, it did say that I should be wearing a 10 and a half. So, this isn't a fit, a mal fit, or a bad fit crease. This is actually just how the shoe flexes. It's a really soft, pliable leather. And so what I did is I actually put some super glue in here, I syringed it in real carefully, and I super glued this part down just because I didn't want this part to crease and wrinkle. And I would, it seemed like there would get, you'd get dirt and stuff inside the leather in between the layers of leather. So that's what I did. Kind of an issue. Maybe that's why it's at Nordstrom Rack selling for a discount and not actually at Nordstrom. So something you may want to consider. As far as the comfort goes, People ask, well, with that crease in the toe, does it affect comfort? Well, let's talk about um, the fit and finish here. The fit and finish, I'm a little bit out of order here, but the fit and finish, it fits just like, I should say, not just like, but it's the same sizing as normal Allen Edmonds. And the fit is fine. It's super comfortable. And as you break it in, it gets even more comfortable. Like I said, the leather is really soft. So it feels great. So despite, like, my toes aren't smashed or anything, again, I would recommend you try them on. My toe's not smashed. Um, this doesn't dig into my toes or foot at all, the top of my foot. Just a very, very comfortable shoe. Let's uh, discuss some other things. Obviously, this is a first impressions. Goodyear welt here. The materials are excellent. This is what you'd expect with an Allen Edmonds sole. You can see they are broken in. And they do have the little rubber cap here on the stacked heel. 360 Goodyear Welt, so you can obviously get them resold. A very reasonable looking shoe. But another issue with materials, this may be quality control as well, is you'll notice that there is kind of this stretching right here on only one shoe. Now, I'm not sure if it's because of the shoe trees, but if you look at the other one on the inside here, there is no, there aren't those stretch marks. And these weren't abused. They haven't been out in the rain. That's just... That happened the first day I wore them. Those stretch marks were not there. Then I put them in the shoe trees, and the next morning, they were like that. Those little stretch marks right there. So, some things to consider. These may not be quite up to the highest standard of Allen Edmonds production. Not sure exactly why that is, but I'm very happy with them. They're very comfortable, very reasonable, very reasonable looking shoe. And the durability is exactly what you'd expect with any Allen Edmonds shoe. That's all for today for the first impressions. Stay tuned, subscribe. We're going to do a full review and discuss these shoes in depth at a future date. Thanks for watching.